Glory, glory, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, how great thou art. How great thou art. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the presence of God. Welcome, welcome. Since the day that the Lord has made, let's just rejoice and be glad in it. Let's magnify the King of Kings. Let's magnify the Lord of Lords. The I am that I am, the omnipotent God, the omniscience God. The Lord has seated in the throne of heaven and is, and reside. He reside in heavenly places and use the earth as his footstool. Let's magnify. By him this morning, let's exalt, let's exalt him, let's give him praise, let's give him honor. Father, we thank you, we give you praise for another privilege to be in your presence this morning. We thank you for another opportunity to come together this morning. Uh, yes, you say we're two or three gathered together in the means you are. We thank you for being here with us this morning. Holy Spirit, we reference you in our meeting this morning. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every deliberation this morning, we cover with the blood of Jesus. The life will come out of our deliberation. Yes, healing will come out of, your, of, 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 our, of our speaking this morning. Every contributor, every, contri every contributor this morning, every one of us that will be speaking today, Holy Spirit, anoint our mouth afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. We come boldly to the throne of grace this morning with the blood of Jesus, uh, because it is through the blood that we are cleansed. We don't have anything of our own that is righteous. We claim the righteousness of God this morning. We claim the righteousness of God this morning. Our blood of Jesus in our means, blood of Jesus in our life, is there anything that is not giving glory to God that we may have gone through in our life today? We surrender them at your feet this morning. Let your blood, let it cleanse this morning. Let your blood, let it purify this morning. We cleanse ourselves. We bring ourselves to that throne of grace, to that throne of mercy, to that place where the blood of Jesus is shed for the remittance of sin. This morning, Father, we thank you because your name shall be glorified this morning. Your name shall be glorified this morning. Oh, we lift your name high this morning. We lift your name high this morning. Father, we enthrone you. We proclaim you as king. Standing, Standing in a life in a midst of us, Lord, we lift you higher with our praise. And we walk to you, and as we worship you, and as we and as we worship you, your throne, come, Lord Jesus, and take your place. Let's, let's, let's turn that to prayer this morning. The Lord, as I have come this morning, come and take your place in my life. Uh, is there anywhere that flesh is still ruling? Father, take your place. Uh, anywhere, anywhere that I've been weak in my life this morning, Lord, take your place because you are my strength. Uh, is there anywhere I'm struggling this morning? Take your place because you're the one that knows all things. Uh, is there anywhere where there is a challenge in my life this morning? Lord, take your place uh, because you're the solution to every problem. Uh, is there anywhere in my life, Lord God Almighty, that I need Need you that I need you to come and visit this morning, Father. Visit that area in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, take control this morning. Lord, take control this morning. Holy Ghost, take control of my life. Ah, Father, take control in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, take control this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is there any way in my life, Lord God Almighty, that I have not surrendered to you? And the flesh is still struggling. This morning, Father, I ask in that name that is above every other name that Lord, your spirit will take over. Your spirit will take over this morning, and you will, you will, you will, you will, you will, you will, you will destroy every activities of the flesh in my life. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, visit, visit my, visit my spirit this morning. Bring a life, the spirit of God in my life this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everywhere in my life, Lord, that the enemy may be using uh, to, 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 to make me to disobey Your will, uh, to make me to, to, to not follow Your precept this morning. I surrender them all into Your hand this morning. Take absolute control. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. 
Lord, we enthrone mm -hmm. you. We magnify mm -hmm. you. Take your place mm -hmm. in our midst this morning. Take your place yes, in our midst this morning. Take your place yes, in our Father. midst this morning. Let the Father yes, be glorified. Lord. In the mighty amen. name of Jesus Christ, amen. we are prayed. Amen. Amen. amen, amen. Let us amen. take a time amen. out this morning and minister to all this one. Pray and stand in gap of everyone that are facing challenges in their health this morning. Uh, there is so much going on out there. Uh, whether we are healthy, we thank God for our life, but those that are going through, struggling with one thing or the other this morning, let us take our time this morning and intercede for them. Let's intercede for them. Let's ask that the hand of God, uh, that mighty hand of God, uh, by his stripe that they receive their healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that everywhere that the challenge is in their life, anywhere that the blood is, uh, is giving problem, or anywhere the vein is giving problem, anywhere the lungs has been challenged this morning, we speak the healing power of God. Uh, Anywhere in their body, in their vein, in their nerve, in their in, in their immune system, Father, this morning we lift up all your children into your hand this morning. Those that are facing challenges with their health this morning, Father, we pray, Lord, that Lord, you say by your stripe we are healed, Lord. Father, we ask that your stripe we go and visit them and deliver healing to them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, Lord God Almighty, the blood in their body, the water in their body, the nerves in their body, the vein in their body, all the organ system. All the blood, everything, every part of them, all the muscle, everything in their body, the, 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 the kidney, Father, the, 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 the lungs, Lord God Almighty, the heart, the brain, everything that you have created, Lord God Almighty, you are the Lord that have the spare parts in your hand. Father, pay them a visit this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is there any affliction that the enemy may have planted in their body this morning? Father, we cry out to you this morning. And you say, Lord, when we call upon you, we that we are call your people, when we call upon you, and humble ourselves and cry unto you. You say you will look down and heal us, Lord. Father, this morning we are crying out to you. We are humble ourselves because then we are just, just as weak as anything. Father, we cry for help this morning. Lord, let there be deliverance, Lord. Let there be healing in the life of your people. Let there be healing in the life of your people. Is there any pain in their body this morning? Lord, we speak for restoration this morning. Lord, we pray this morning. Father, we pray, Lord God Almighty, that Lord, you will touch your children. You will touch them this morning. In the mighty in the name of Jesus Christ. Your healing power, deliver hate. Your healing power, deliver hate. Your healing power, deliver hate. As that woman touched the hem of your garment, and healing take place in her life. Father, this morning, we stand in gap for your children. We touch the hem of your garment by spirit. We touch the hem of your garment by faith this morning. Deliver your healing to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Deliver your healing to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. In Jesus, Hallelujah. mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Let us take time out this morning and intercede for this nation and use this nation as a point of contact for all other nations. Let's pray for Jerusalem that the peace of God will reign in Jerusalem and commit all the all the leaders of all this nation into the end of God that the Lord will touch their heart. Many of them are they, they, they're just doing things on their own, but we want the, the our God to arrest their heart uh, because Amen. the heart of the king is in the hand of God and he can direct you wherever he wants to that all the leadership mm. uh, let God arrest their heart uh, and start making decision that we that, that we put people that we put people draw people more close to God uh, in mm. the mighty name of Jesus Christ mm. father we lift up the leaders in this mm. nation United States of America into your hand we lift up the nation uh, the, the leaders in Nigeria in Sierra Leone in Ghana in Ghana in every part of the world in the Asian uh, in the in the Middle East in the Europe in the in the Asian Pacific. Father, we pray for them this morning, that Lord, uh, in South America, Lord, we pray that, Lord, all their leaders, Lord, you will visit them, Lord. We pray for your peace in the land. Uh, we pray for your peace in all the lands, especially in this nation, United States of America, all the confusion that is going around. Father, we pray, Lord God Almighty, that, Lord, you will arise uh, and stand for your people, Lord, and stand for your people, Lord. Bring peace to this nation. Bring peace to this nation. It's called United States of America, but there's divide division among this nation. Father, restore your unity back into this nation. Restore your unity back to this nation. Everyone that are standing in the corner that want to divide this nation, Father, we pray that you will touch their heart. Uh, you will touch their heart uh, and know that this land is built for you. Father, God those one, Lord God Almighty, that want to divide, uh, touch their heart. And if they refuse, Lord, do justice, Lord. Do justice, uh, do justice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you praise this morning in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. 
Amen. Let's pray for ourselves this morning as we have come to the presence of God this morning. We need to pray for ourselves. The title of this prayer is uh, Try Praying and Fasting. Try Prayers and Fasting. Uh, let's pray for ourselves. That is there anywhere spiritually that I am struggling? Is there anywhere spiritually that the enemy is using my flesh against me that is not allowing me to please you? The enemy is not allowing me to satisfy you. The enemy is not allowing me. It, 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 it works so much in my flesh that every time I want to do things for you, I keep on falling for the flesh. That Lord, I rise today on my life. Lord, I rise today in my life. Holy Spirit, come into your fullness authority in my life and let me not continually fall for flesh. That every every canality in my life, Lord, I surrender them at your feet. I don't want to struggle canally anymore, but I want to rely upon the Holy Spirit, Lord. Lord, help me in the name of Jesus Christ. As I have come this morning, Lord, I surrender myself into your hand. Anything canna in my life, uh, Lord, let there be let, let, let there let there be subjection to them or uh, to the Spirit uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, rise above my canal in my life, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I surrender my mind. Uh, I surrender my thought. Uh, I surrender my eyes. Uh, I surrender every part of me into your hand. Holy Spirit, take control. Every canality in my life, uh, Lord, suppress them uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, come alive fully in my life. Uh, that everything that I do, the meditation of my heart, uh, the thought of my heart, uh, every word that come out of my mouth, uh, you will be the controller of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank Amen. you, Heavenly Father, because Amen. at the end of today, Lord, you will give me all the all the opportunity to give you praise, to give you honor, to give you adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Holy Spirit, it's up to you this morning. Take control. Fill our Amen. mouth to, to deliver Amen. life, to deliver peace, to deliver goodness to deliver mercy to deliver greatness of the lord this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ mm -hmm. the word of our mouth this morning as we contribute as we share this morning let there be liberation let there mm -hmm. be salvation and let mm -hmm. there be healing all over the world that everywhere mm -hmm. that we are struggling father you will deliver us from the struggle you will mm -hmm. go ahead of us and make and make help available to those that need help in the mighty mm -hmm. name of jesus christ mm -hmm. thank you heavenly father in Thank Jesus' you. name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is Amen. good. The Lord is good. Amen. Holy Ghost, take control this morning. Welcome, everybody. Uh, today, <laughs> today is the 16th day of September. Glory be to God. Uh, we thank God for another opportunity. We'll be looking at a title, a title that, um, that's really, really paramount for the children of God, for us as a child of God. Um, a title that uh, that we that we we need to use as a weapon. It's not a title that we should put on the side and just uh, ignore this because it is the 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 strength of a Christian. Um, the this morning title again is the strength of a Christian. Prayer and fasting is what separate us, and that's what open our spirit up to be able to be used by God. Because when we are praying and when we are fasting, that means we are putting the flesh in where it's supposed to be. Then the spirit of God will come into full functionality in our life because the inner man needs to be built. Uh, not, the, not the external life, the, the, the outward God will build it. But the inner man, nobody sees them. And that's why we seem to forget that we need to feed our spirit because we don't see but I pray this morning that God will give us that enablement to be conscious of who we are, that we will not constantly just feel, feed the flesh and neglect the spirit because the spirit needs to be fed as well. So the topic this morning is try praying and fasting. Try praying and fasting. And as we know, many of us go through so many things in our life. That, um, that, you know, when we look at it, there is nothing that can actually solve the problem except for God. We have come to a place in our lives sometimes that we, we look for help from everywhere and help will not come from everywhere that we look. Because the Bible says, uh, I look up to the hill, where will my help come from? 
my help only comes from God who makes the heaven and earth. And he said, also, as a man, as who we are, promotion doesn't come from anywhere but from God. And anytime we need to seek God's face, anytime that we seek God's face and we genuinely go to him and pray wholeheartedly according to the spirit, God answered. God answered. But we don't often go to God. We don't often go to him to ask him for help. Um, mostly, many of us uh, only go to God when we have prayer meetings. Many of us only take time out to fast when we are compelled to do it, when there's a group call for fasting. Many of us only take time out to say, God, I need to pray only when we call for prayer meeting. But today, we are going to talk about it, that we don't have to wait until somebody tells us to fast. We don't have to wait until that next prayer meeting. We don't have to wait until that next session of event that we have to say we're gathering unto the Lord. We can take the time out to pray to God when we need to. So I will read this morning. Our text is found in the book of Mark. We know that story very well. Uh, when, the, uh, when, when, when Jesus cast out the demon and uh, the disciple actually tried to cast out that same demon, they struggled with that demon. And they were not able to do it. And when Jesus came and he just did it, just like that. And they were confused. Say, wow, can you do that? Why are you able to do it? We are your follower. You do it. You've taught us. You, we've seen how you do it. We try it as well. Why didn't they work for us? And his response to them is in that book of Mark chapter 9, verse 29. And this talking to you and I today. That there are so many things that we struggle with that we don't have to struggle with. There are so many things that we find challenges and that we don't have to face the challenges. There are so many issues that we find in life that we, we can easily just look at those issues and hand them over to God without paying them attention or struggling with them. But because of our lack of praying and subdue the flesh and kill the carnal mind, we have been struggling with this area. But today, the Lord will deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said the Lord will deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So uh, the text, Mark chapter 9, verse 29. I want to start reading from verse 25 so we can get the context of this. When Jesus saw that the crowd were running to the scene. Let me start, actually. Let me start from 20, from 90, from um, from 14, um, New International Version, Mark, 29, Mark chapter 9 from verse 14. When they came to the other disciple, they saw a large crowd around them and the teachers of the law arguing with them. As soon as they, excuse me, sorry about that. Let us um, just my screen. Thank you. Verse 15, as soon as all of the people saw Jesus. They were overwhelmed with wonders and ran to greet, to greet him. What are you arguing about? They asked them. What are you arguing with them about? They asked. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought you my son who is possessed by the spirit, by a spirit that has robbed him of speech. Was it done? Whenever he sees him, he threw him to the ground. He foamed out of his mouth, gnashed his teeth, and become rigid. I asked your disciple to drive out the spirit, but they could not. You unbelieving generation, Jesus replied, how long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought him. When the spirit saw Jesus, it immediately threw the boy into the convulsion. He fell to the ground and rolled, rolled, rolled around, foaming at his mouth. Jesus asked the boy, his father, how long has this been? Been like this? From childhood, he answered. 
It has often thrown him into the fire and water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us. That is a prayer. Have mercy on us and help us. Those that are called by my name, my people who are called by my name, if they will humble themselves and pray, then I will hear. If you can, Jesus said, everything is possible for he, for one, will believe. Immediately, the boy father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Sometimes we find ourselves in that place that is it going to work? It's not going to work. But yes, I believe your disciple couldn't do it. Everywhere that I've gone, they failed. Every, act, act, every activity that I've got engaged in, they never made it. But you know, Yes, I have a little doubt, but you have to help my unbelief by performing this miracle. When Jesus saw that the crowd was running to the same, he rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said, I command you, come out of him and never enter in again. Verse 26, the spirit shrank shrieked, converse him violently, boom, and came out. The boy looked so much like a corpse after he has done all the damage. Sometimes, you know, when God is about to perform miracle, enemy will fight the last fight to try and do whatever they can do. But guess what? The miracle of God is going to happen, whether the devil like it or not. I said, the miracle of God for your life is going to happen. Let me hear amen to that. Whether he push you out, whether he tumble you, whether he throw you all over the place, that miracle of God is going to happen. The deliverance of God will happen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The boy looked so much like a cop. That many said, he is dead. But Jesus took him by his hand and lift him up to his feet. And he stood up after Jesus had done, has gone indoor. His disciple asked him privately, Why couldn't we drive it out? Listen to what Jesus said. Our text for today, Matthew chapter 9, verse 29. He replied, This kind can come only by prayer. Only by prayer. That's a new international version. Well, let's look at another version. What did he say in the, in the new King James version? Only this thing can come by prayer and fasting. New King James version say, he said this kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. So let me read out this morning though, so we can discuss this. Are you facing a problem that prayer alone hasn't yet solved? Do you have a loved one who have been in captivity by drugs or alcohol or some other destructive power? Try praying for them and fasting for them. Sometimes the spiritual battle you are in is so intense that it calls for denying the legitimate need of your body and building up your faith through prayer and fasting so that you are able to prevail. Jesus told his disciple in John chapter 14, verse 12, John 14, verse 12, he said, he that believeth in, on me, the work that I do, they will do also, and greater will they do. Continuing in that. Yet, when the disciple were confronted with a demon-possessed boy with self-destructive tendencies, they were disappointed because they prayed and nothing happened. And when they asked Jesus, why he, why? He said to them, this kind can come forth by nothing, but by prayer and by fasting. What the Jewish people were threatening with an elation, only the king could save them. So remember that story of Esther, when Naaman, uh, 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 yeah, when 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 uh, Haman want to kill want to kill the Jews want to destroy the whole entire Jew community, what did Esther say? 
He said, gather all your people, all the Jews. Esther chapter 4, verse 16. He said, gather them together. I will go. Gather them to fast for me. I will likewise, likewise do the same thing. I will also pray and fast. And we go to the king. The result was outstanding. It was, it was astounding. Because when they did that, God healed from heaven. As a result, Ammon, who applauded their destruction, was hung on his own gallow that he created for them. That's what this was. I mean, the word of God said that, that God will put you in a place where he will make your enemy a footstool. That is what we are, are supposed to be. That all those ones that have planned evil against us, they will be the one that will fall into that evil plot. When we give ourselves to prayer, when we go to the presence of God with fasting and trusting that God got our back. And the entire Jewish nation were what saved? Why? Because they prayed. Why? Because they fasted. There are times in life when you must say, no to the physical needs. There are times that you must say no to physical needs. So that you, you can focus on your spiritual one. Fasting shaping your focus in prayer. Fave, forti fortify your faith. Prepare you to meet a challenge and bring miraculous results. Fasting is about having single-mindedness in your search for God's help, and it brings great results. Brethren, as you can see, the result of fasting, I mean, many of us that are actually saying that, yeah, we want to, we want to lose weight, we want to do that, when we go into not, not when we exercise the, the dietary thing that we do, we see that the, the body became shaped into a different way. We see the energy that come out of it. You can imagine if it's not to just to lose the weight, but to sacrifice it to the Lord. You can imagine how working your inner man, your spirit man will be risen. Your spirit man will come to life that even things that you're not capable of doing spiritually, you find yourself doing it. That is what fasting and prayer does. Because you know, when we give in to the Lord and fast, shaping our focus in prayer. Fasting, shaping our focus in prayer. And uh, that, that, I think it's, it's just very, very important that we need to make a time to say, Lord, this day, I am just going to deny this flesh for you. And I am going to just sit and pray and not allow anything to allow. Because when we feed the flesh, weakness comes in in diverse way. We're tired. We don't think of anything. Becomes an app our appetite becomes for everything that comes our way. We just want to grab it and just eat it. Then we start a bit of just piling up things that are going to make us even weaker. But God will help us to focus our mind on the Lord and fast and pray. Because fasting and praying only helps us to become better with the Lord. Fasting shipping your focus in prayer, and may God help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to pause for a minute and uh, take some contribution here. I know it's, um, it, it's a very important subject, and I, I, I do hope that uh, we, we, we will hear from this, and we will be able to take time out to visit our inner spirit so we can fast to grow our inner man and not only feed the flesh, but the spirit is hungry every day. But flesh is weak because the flesh is being fed and the spirit is being neglected. I pray this morning that God will give us strength to build the inner man and neglect the carnal man for a change and see how God can start functioning and performing this miracle through you. May God bless us all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Contribution this morning. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my sister Setalu. Good morning, Pastor. I just wanted to um, just point out that Jesus says, 
this comes out by prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. Let us notice that Jesus is not fast right now mm -hmm. to perform that miracle. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of times we read in the Bible with the story of Esther, they fasted, and then the miracle happened. With Daniel, the fasting miracle happened. But Jesus is talking about continual prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know when the devil is going to attack. You don't know when anything is going to happen. Mm. So Jesus was able to perform that miracle right then and there. Because of, I know we don't have a lot of accounts of Jesus praying and fasting, but he's talking about continual prayer and fasting. So that when the time comes that you need to rebuke the devil, you are ready spiritually. Hallelujah. You don't wait till the trouble comes. You don't wait till you are in battle. You don't wait till you're at war to bring out your, your weapon to learn how to fight. Mm. You don't wait till you are on the battleground to learn how to use a gun. You have to be doing it continually, prayer and fasting. It should be a discipline you are doing all the time, sharpening your focus, sharpening your spiritual senses, so that when the day comes, not if, when it comes, and something is coming in front of you where it's like, Father Lord, what is this? What is going on here? You are ready. You have that spiritual armor going already. You have the Holy Spirit, the spiritual sensitivity already because you have that discipline. So we shouldn't think of prayer and fasting as just something that you do when you see a challenge, when you want to. Yes, it's important. Yes, we do it when we're in front of that mountain. We want to just invoke God's spirit to help us move that mountain. But we need to be doing it continually, Amen. continually, continually. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. You don't have to wait until the battle before you start training to fight. <laughs> like that. You don't have to wait until you, face, until you face the challenge before you start learning to fight. You must be in training at all times. And how do you train at all times? when you have to fight spiritually, by praying always, by fasting always, by denying the flesh constantly, not allowing the flesh to rule you over the spirit. Allow the spirit to rule over you because when the battle arises, you won't have to worry. You won't have to worry. You can actually stand the stand. Having the whole armor of God in you, then you'll be able to withstand the devil. Thank you, my sister. Uh, I mean, you don't have to wait until the battle starts before you arm yourself, before you, you put the armor of God. You must be prepared. You must be prepared. And how do you prepare to fight spiritually? Fasting and prayer always. Thank you. Powerful. Any other contribution this morning? Thank you, man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, um, sir, we <laughs> Yes, we thank God for the contribution, the break it down, you know. Um, I want to take it from the um, the part of uh, the what we do for both of you, the sister Tula and the pastor have explained, uh, that has to do with consecration, you mm. know. Um, the Lord Jesus, uh, actually, when that issue came up and uh, when he talked about fasting and praying, you know, um, you know, the, the Lord Jesus has not even gone to the cross then, he was still with them. And um, uh, the Lord, you know, the, the, the New Testament, even though it's one sided covenant, but there is what we call covenant of response a covenant that you just enter deliberately because you love the Lord. And you want to consecrate yourself, you deny yourself, denying the world, like Pastor was saying just now, denying the flesh, you know, and uh, you know, crucify to the world. The world is crucified not to you, running the risk that is set before you. You know, not allow anything to interfere with your relationship with Christ. You know, you are just you are consecrating yourself. A man that is consecrated to God. You know, already know that you already making, you already made fasting a lifestyle. You know, like where Pastor was talking, just it made reference to the fact that it's not only when they call for general fasting that you have to fast, you know, or general meeting that you have to pray. 
God wants us to consecrate ourselves. And one of the ways we can consecrate ourselves is fasting. Fasting mm. is not a bribe. Mm. Fasting is not a, a, a means to an, a, a, I mean, an end. It's, a, a it's just a means to an end. You see, the last, the last passage in the topic today, they talked about the fact that when we fast, it makes us to be single-minded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So let me read it. So thank you for bringing it. You meant to, you mean to say uh, you to meet a challenge and bring miraculous results. Fasting is about having single-mindedness in your search for God's help. It's, it's you, you humble yourself. It's, 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 it's a sign of humility before the Lord. It's, it's, it's a place where you, you, you know, you, you just do away with, you withdraw yourself from speculation. Mm-hmm. You know, you 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 come before the Lord. You know, you you are focused. You know, on on the reason why you have come before the Lord. You are praying. You are praying with uh, expectations. You know, you are expecting. You are you are you are expecting to hear from the Lord. You no, know, you pray in that manner. You know, so that is the kind of fasting that you know. If we read the um, Isaiah fifty eight. You see what the Lord was saying. The people of Israel were saying, ah, we have uh, afflicted our body. We have done this. We have done that. The Lord doesn't even seem to hear. He doesn't even seem to answer our prayer. And the Lord replied, they said, what kind of fast do you fast? The day you fast, that is the day you want to enjoy last. You want to enjoy the best food. You fight. You quarrel. You do this. You do that. Is that the kind of fast you expect me to have respect for? You know? So, Fasting, he said, he now began to analyze to them, telling them how you should help the poor, how you should help the oppressed, how you should pray to lose those that are bound. You know, fasting should not just be only you, the jobs, the, you should not just center on only you. you can, we can, God also expect us to fast. And, you know, I also pray for his kingdom to move his kingdom forward, to advance his plans and purposes in redemption. You know, pray for me. You know, we started this uh, today's, uh, you know, devotion by pray for nation. God delight in it. I have been praying for Nigeria. And then I gave me a picture of Nigeria that he is going to be. Show me in a, in, a, in a dream, a new Nigeria that is going to come. Amen. You know, I have been Amen. praying. I have Amen. been holding. Amen. 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 Show it to me. Amen. I, I was so, I, I was so, re, I so rejoiced. I said, Father, Amen. Thank Amen. you for this picture. Yes. Show, uh, revelation you have shown me of mm. the new Nigeria mm. that is coming up. Yes. So yes. we are to pray for nation. Yes. We can even find. We have seen people in in a, like a man. Was a man that I said, "Give me Scotland or I die." I mean, he was fasting and praying. Mm. So fasting should not just only really be self-centered. You know, God uh, one first and foremost, we, we when we fast, like Sister Tatolu was saying just now, that when we make it a lifestyle and we consecrate our life to the Lord. We will have power with God. We don't need to struggle. We have power with God. People that are going uh, to go and get power from occultic houses and all, I think they are they are just ignorance because they also fast. They also fast. They have they certainly give their conditions, you know, to 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 be able to you know to continue with that kind of lifestyle they have chosen, you know. But if they can even just play the principle of fasting and waiting upon the Lord, they will have, I mean, the, the flesh, the more you fast, the more the flesh can no longer be text to you. You are really dealing with the flesh. You are bringing the flesh down. You will have power with God. You don't need to struggle. We don't need to struggle. I pray that the Lord will help us and grant us grace to know what the Lord is telling us this morning. Amen. Fasting is Amen. we cannot do with do away Amen. with it. Amen. That is the only way we can deal with the flesh. It's not a bribe. It's for us to be able to be in tune, to be able to be focused at that particular time, to be able to pray, to be able to eat our food. You know, that is the purpose. Amen. And I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank Jesus. you, Sir Bridget. Thank you very much. Fasting is not a bribe. It's not a bribe. Fasting is not a bribe. Fasting is not a bribe. Um, it, it is a way of a lifestyle, of 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 community, of 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 having a focused minded, a single focused minded, searching for God, to 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 intervene, to help, 
to assist us in things that we don't know. Because there's so many things that God wants to reveal to us, but we cannot get to see those things unless we are actually in one tune of mindset with him. Um, I, they, they, there is so many, so many, like uh, the Sabrina just meant, mentioned of those people that went to seek power from the, from, the, from, the, from the power of darkness. Some of them, they are buried alive for days without eating, without anything. Then they sacrifice that, and when they come out, they become a devil incarnate. If we can do that for God, you can imagine what God will use to us, we use us for. It's not a bribe for God, but it is to come to see more of God's revelation. It's going to see more of God's ability because when we kill the flesh, when we kill the flesh, the spirit comes alive. And God will help us to do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you very much for all the contributors this morning. You know, um, I totally agree with our sister, um, our sister Antolo, you know, what she was saying that, you know, you don't have to wait for the battle before you learn how to fight. It's already too late because you already be defeated. And the reason why um, David said, I mean, God said that David is the man after my heart because he was always aligned with God. He was always talking with God. He was always connect with God, you know. So this way, you know, our, our when you know um, um Psalm, Psalm 35, 27, when you ask us to focus on that, you know, on uh, 27, Psalm, Psalm 35, 27, let those who delight in them, who do, let, okay, let those who delight in my righteousness shout for joy, be glad and say, and, and say evermore, God is the, I mean, great is the Lord who delights in the welfare of those servants. You know, when when you're when when you when you when you are a delight in the Lord, when you your heart lodged for the Lord, when you do all kind of things to sacrifice, um, to be close to God, trust me, He will not. He, those who fight against you, He will fight them for for you. You don't even have to ask. Um, our sister said that Christ don't um didn't pass because you know, um. There was only one record, one record in the book where it said um, where, where he fasted for seven days, I mean, 40 days and 40 nights. I think that was the only one. But, you know, I believe that you know, there are some areas where he may have, uh, have fasted. You know, why? Because he was always aligned with the Lord. Everything about him was about God. It's not about himself. He didn't come to this world to, 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 to glorify himself. He came here to glorify God. So he was already aligned with God. So the only way we can do that as well, when we align ourselves with God and making sure that we do what he has asked us to do, trust me, he will not see somebody trying to like to strike us and he didn't do anything. Why? Because he know that our heart belongs to, to him. Uh, he can fight our own battle on behalf of us. We don't have enough to do that much. By fasting, by praying, by, by praying and, and making sure that, you know, we always focus on him. And we pray that the Lord will continue to help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. Uh, you see, it, I think it's just very, very important that, that you know, we, we, we Christian, we are not, we are, in, we are in the battlefront. Let's just put it that way. Because the enemy of our soul is going around like a roaring lion and it's looking for womb to devour. And if we are not careful, and we are not constantly allowing the spirit of God to lead us. We will fall into his trap and we get devoured. And that's very, very important that we keep that in mind. That we are not fighting with flesh and blood. But we are fighting against spiritual forces in high places. Those black people, those dark people, those hateful people. And their goal is what? To take us down. And how do we deal with those things? We can only do that by building and energizing the spirit of God in us. If we are not praying and fasting, Jesus said, watch and pray. Watch and pray. And the Paul said, pray without ceasing. 
building the spiritual man in us is what enables us to be able to stand and withstand all the power of the devil. When James said, submit to God, resist the devil, it's not talking about anything but this. Fast and pray. Give yourself to the Lord. Let the spirit of God in you come to life. When you are able to do that, that's what Brad Mike just said. And we, 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 this is our psalm for the week. The psalm 35 is our prayer point for this whole week. And we're concentrating on this particular verse of 27. That let us shout for joy, regardless of whatever the case may be. Let us have favor. Let our let, let, let the way we will favor our prayer righteousness. What is the righteousness of God? Is by having the mindset that Christ died for me on the cross. And I know that with him I can do all things. We are carrying his righteousness by crucifying the flesh and let the spirit of God come continually, continually in our life so that the Lord can be magnified in our life. Listen, if we continue to feed the flesh, God cannot be manifest because carnality is against God. And if our carnal mind is still operating in us, the Bible says we are enmity to God. We can't please God. But when we constantly deny self, when we constantly deny that want of ourselves, and we continue to build God, we continue to build God in what we do in our life, in everything that we do, things become better. And I pray that God will give us that enablement, that our delight will be in him, because we don't see him, but we know him by spirit. And if we're not building our spirit, he cannot come and fight when we need him to fight. Because they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The flesh don't want you to do that. Trust me, the flesh don't want us to do that. But the spirit enables us to have access to the throne of God. And God will help us. Fasting and praying is paramount in our journey. It's paramount. It's, it's, uh, it's not... For, you know, sometimes people think that, okay, like Statulu make it clear that fasting sometimes, you know, it is not for us to be bribing God. No, it isn't. It's not to bribe God, but it's to empower us to do great things that God wants to do through us. It's to empower us to do great things that God wants us to do. That when we face challenge, because we're equipped by him, the challenges of our life, we become just like, a, you know, just throw water out and step on it. That's what fasting does for us. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Any other contribution this morning? Thank you, Brother Mike. And thank you, Sister Tulu, Sister Bridget. Any other contribution this morning? I'm sorry, let me just apologize if I was unclear earlier when I said that there were no accounts of, there was only one account of Jesus fasting. I still believe he definitely, even though we don't have the accounts, that he fasted more than once. I believe he definitely fasted, was continually, that's what I was saying. Um, like somebody said, a lot of us treat life, our Christian life as a cruise ship instead of a battleship. And we just want to cruise through life and not take up the armor and not be soldiers. And like I said earlier, Jesus knew that this life is a battleship and you have to always be have your weapon on, always be armed, always be armed. And I'm, I, I'm confident that he was always praying and fasting. Right. And we need to take up, there's a lot of tools that God has given us to fight this, to be soldiers in his battle. And prayer and fasting is definitely one of the powerful tools that he has given us to help us fight. Amen. Amen. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and um, thank you for, for, for bringing that up. But, but the, the, the bottom line is that whether there's an account of him eating, whether there's an account of him fasting, this is the commandment that he has given us. These things that we're mm -hmm. expecting, the battle that we're fighting, the only way to win, he said that. Mm -hmm. So he said, you cannot do it except by prayer and fasting. And that's mm -hmm. what we want to hold on to. That's mm. what we want to hold on to. So everything mm. else of his account of fasting, of his account of eating, um, they're, they're actually, they're good to know those things. 
but the things that we want to hold on to is this this say of his that said this battle i like what you just used we're not on the cruise where we can lay down and sometime we're not on the cruise where we can go and wear our beautiful garment to dance at night we're not on the cruise where we can go ahead and play basketball or play soccer we are on the battlefield if you are a Christian and you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, he said it. He said you will face persecution. He said you will face trouble. You will, you will face a temptation. He said you will face everything that the world is against you because they were against him. They killed him. So we are on the battlefield. The only way we can continue to win the battle that we are on now is by fasting and prayer. It's by fasting and prayer. So if we, let's put all of this research on the side and just know that in this journey, in this race, in this time that we have now, we need to kill the flesh more. I've always said this. The enmity that we have most is not the jobless. It's not the financial challenges. It's not all those sickness things. The enemy that we have is the flesh. The common enemy of all the Christians today, all the children of God today, is the flesh. And as long as we continually kill that flesh daily, if we are not, please start today. That flesh, you must die because you're not going to help me to achieve what God wants me to achieve. We must deny that flesh. Go and read that Isaiah 58 that my sister pointed out. Go and read it. It is by you telling our oh, world, you know, today I want to eat McDonald's, but today, no, 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 McDonald's. I'm not doing it today. Or, oh, my wife just cooked, my wife just cooked some a goosey soup and some nice a four, and I walk into the house and I already make commitment in the morning to say, God, I am going to spend today with you not eating. And when you smell that goosey soup, oh, you say, God, forgive me. I'm going to taste of this goosey soup. No, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about you committing to him to say, yes, flesh, when the temptation comes, God, you are in charge. Give me the ability to resist the temptation. Many of us, many of us fall because we are not in tune with what God wants us to do. Or we just give into the flesh easily. And God will help us to not continue to cruise. Like, yes, that cruising is a guarantee. God said, when you seek me first and my righteousness, I will give you, put you on a cruise ship, but not on the cruise ship for you to be resting. A cruise ship where you are going to be fighting on my behalf, where you are going to be ministering for my behalf, where you are going to help the poor. Go read Isaiah 58. When you're going to say, yo, no, it's time for me to relax. I want to turn sometime. And they will say, no, you're not sometime. Get up and go and minister. Go ahead and help the poor. Go ahead and help the sick. Go to the hospital and go and preach to them. Go and pray for people. Go and do all of those things. When was the last time that we just put it upon our mind that we say, oh, today is for the Lord. I am going to minister to so, so, so people. But I'm just going to go ahead and distribute tracks. The flesh will tell you, oh, your schedule won't, won't make it. Your, your schedule cannot permit you. May God help us. We are not on the cruise ship to be laying down and be allowing all the good stuff to be served to us. We, may, we are on the battlefield. On the battlefield to deliver those who are oppressed of the devil. Spirit of God is upon you. It's upon me to preach the good news, to deliver those people that are being held captive, to declare the good news of the Lord, to go ahead and set free those who are bound. That's who we have. And in order for you to do that, you must continuously pray. You must continually fast. You must continuously allow God to have his way. Uh, that's all I have this morning, except anybody else have anything. Nobody else have anything else. Uh, we ask by Sister Bridget to pray for this morning. I uh, thank you everybody for joining. It's been a wonderful session. Hallelujah. I think we lost Sister Bridget. Hallelujah. Okay, Sister Comfort, can you pray for us this morning? Praise the name of the Lord.
and we're gonna wait for her to get away from the uh, um, thank you for this morning thank you for your words we are part of this morning we thank you father for all that you have used this morning to pour your word to spread your word to share your word thank you lord we thank those listening as well, Father Lord, that anyone hear this, Father Lord, hear your word. The word will be a fruit. It Amen. will be a good fruit into their soul. They'll be able to nourish them. They'll be able to help them to grow better and better in your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the area where we are weak, Father, we pray that, Father Lord, help us to grow in that area in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Strengthen those areas, Father Lord, where we are weak in the name of Jesus. Help us all, Father, as your word hit us, Father Lord. Let it sit in the fatter part of our heart, Father Lord, where it will grow in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray, Father Lord, continue to help us in this journey. Lord, Father Lord, it's always a constant battle, Father Lord, between the spirit and the flesh, Father Lord. Help us to kill the flesh, be able to, 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 to focus more on the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Baba, we surrender our day into, our, into your hands, Father Lord. We continue our learning for the day, Father Lord. Help us, us to be able to focus more on you, to focus to do your work more, to help those who are are, are, are need in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray that, Father Lord, um, I surrender our Father who are sick right now. I uh, pray that, Father Lord, we we'll pray for your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Baba, we we'll pray and continue to, to guide him and continue to to overcome that sickness in Jesus name of prayer. Amen. 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 Mm. Amen. Let's share the grace. Mm. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all, all the days of our life and we shall do it in the house of the Lord forever and ever, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the one the Lord has blessed, so it shall it be in Jesus. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for joining. God bless you. I may the Lord keep you. May he shine his face upon you, be gracious to you, and grant you peace all around. In Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you. Have a good day.